Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Erad, and in this video I will show you the new crown vehicle in Starfield, the Rev 8, and you have to go to any of those Starship services to buy one, so we're going to talk to the Starship technician here and see if we can perhaps purchase a vehicle, so we're going to click on that here and there we go right there it says that we can explore planet with a ground vehicle 25,000 credits it's still a little bit expensive but that's okay it says that it's going to automatically deploy next to our ship every time that we land that's wonderful there are also some customizations as you can see of course I'm Iran my favorite color is teal so we are going to get a teal ground vehicle you just change the saturation and the brightness and the hue and it's just like that three different colors so there's like the main body and some of the wings here on the side will have uh teal and gold a perfect combination as you can see well um, yeah this looks actually pretty good and there's also another color customization for like the engine or suspensions right uh this would look better if it is black uh, let's see. Oh, that's the line here on the side of the of the of the structure. Anyway, that's pretty much it here. There seems to be some kind of uh, weapon here on the top. That's fine. Here we go. Let's now go. I'm gonna pick uh, my ship here. Now, for some reason, guys, there is no sound. I, I recorded this yesterday, and uh, there was no sound. So I'll just put some uh, random music and also music from my musical channel at the end. Oh, that is a uh, ship that you can get if you do a certain quest in the game. But that's not the one that I'll be picking, probably. Let's see what other ships I have. The prison shuttle. <laughs> no, this one is also not so great. It doesn't have any weapons at all, also. Uh, Star Eagle. Now, wonderful. This is the one that you do if you complete the uh, Free Star Collective quest and the stop guardian if you are at NG. But anyway, I'm going to take a, a ship here and then we are going to uh, land and drive a little bit, see how it goes. All you have to do is to leave your vehicle and there it is, just there. Just press E and you're going to be inside and look at that, Andreja is also following me and she's also going in there. Now the temple is right here, I'm just going to drive straight. Uh, straight to it. Can I actually press space? Wow! Yeah, we can press we can press space, and it has some kind of thrusters that make it jump. That's actually super cool. And these thrusters also make you go a little bit faster with some nice rocket effect in the back. That is a cool vehicle. Look at that! Oh, 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 oh! Uh, rough landing here, but uh, pretty good suspensions here. It has taken no damage. Still 100 out of 100. Can I go on that cliff? Oh yeah, it does, and it's even better here with the extra thrusters. Look at that, this is really nice. Now, driving is not easy. If you want to drive this vehicle, you actually have to use the mouse, and the vehicle is going to go toward where your mouse is pointing, so it's not very intuitive. I was thinking that maybe uh, A would be to go left and D to go right, but uh, it does that to a certain degree, but you also have to use your mouse to travel and to go the direction you want to go to, so that is something that you're going to have to get used to. There's also a first-person mode, as you can see, uh, but it's also, as I said, not... Uh, I prefer to use the third-person view because you get to see the environment a little bit better, although, of course, first-person is much more intuitive. There is no interface inside. I wish that it could tell us the speed where we're going at least, right? So that's kind of a bummer here. Uh, Bethesda, that was a little bit lazy. I wish that it could actually tell us the, the speed and other kinds of, in, of, uh, of information. I think that this is something that Star Citizen does much better with their ground vehicle. I think that a ground vehicle like this is more usable, especially going to rough terrain. I think that Bethesda did a really good job here to make a ground vehicle that can go uh, around any kind of terrain, but uh, it could have been a little bit more immersive inside the vehicle. Anyway, can we also drive in cities? Well, we're going to figure it out right now. So I'm back at Aquila City here in first person mode view and you can see it's not, I really had no idea, I thought that I could use A, D to, uh, to move around, it's not really the case, so that's kind of clunky here and you really have to get the hand of uh, how this ground vehicle works if you want to be doing something out of it because you can see I'm just going you know, left and right, left and right, I'm trying to turn here, I just have no idea how this works, so yeah, it's, um, again this was my first try and uh, I just wish that it was 
like any other ground vehicle that we have in any other game, right? I, I feel like this is the way I oh, try not to run over people here. That's so funny to see that the civilians are just running around. That's hilarious here. Not a lot of space to uh, not a lot of space to be uh, driving around as well. I think that it's just this little roundabout around the statue of uh, of uh, Samco, and that's basically it. Salomon Co. Sorry. Yeah, I think I could be going above the stairs, but then the ground vehicle is so big that I'll just be uh, getting stuck here. Also, did you notice that NPCs do not drive ground vehicles? So I think that this is also a shortcut that Bethesda took. It would have been great if Bethesda had also had NPCs driving vehicles. Maybe not in the cities, because obviously the cities are not made for that, but maybe outside. That would have been a nice little touch. Now before we finish this video, maybe you are wondering if you can run over people with a ground vehicle and you are going to see that the answer is yes. This time I am at the starport at uh, New Atlantis and uh, well, I'll just try to see if I can do it. The people are already uh, running around and boom! Oh yeah, we can definitely run around them and kill them. Andrea is very angry, she disliked that. And she actually ran away. She's not my companion anymore. While well, I have bounties and also the local security forces are trying to kill me. So this is how I'm going to end the video here on a rampage. And we'll just uh, play some music here for fun. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and this type of content, let me know with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Pay.